Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check kit from ICM. As you can see, this is a World War II German white personal car, which was called as a Le GL Einheits PKWKFC1 soft top. So basically this is a version of the previous car which was released without any soft top. Now it is copied together with closed roof, which might be attractive to some others. Of course, it is molded in 135 scale. And I would like to remind you that we build this kit with open roof. You can check the uh, build reports on our YouTube channel. That's quite interesting kit, so I recommend to find these reports. But this time we are going to review the closed version. This kit should be already available for purchase in any good model shop, so you can order it in Model MX for sure. And we have here the commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all, box art is quite nice. Then here on this side we have short history note and some information about this kit. There are 191 parts and length of the finished model will be 114 millimeters. Then if we flip it over here, we have the same marking option as on the box art. As you can see, we have this uh, small sign on the front door. And again, on the box art, it is here. As for the box structure, it is typical for the uh, for ICM. As you can see, it is printed um, cover printed top lead, which is quite thin and it doesn't provide any protection to the parts because this white cardboard is protecting all the stuff inside. So we open it and here is what we have inside. All frames are packed into the same plastic bag and it is a quite tight packaging. As you can see, it is even slightly bent. I'm not sure why it was decided to choose uh, this type of the box, but we have what we have and let's open it and take a closer look at what is offered here. I can see that there are new sprues for the uh, closed roof version. You will see them in a second. And let's start with them actually. So here you can see this plastic frame. So whole roof should be glued out of several pieces. Uh, be careful while combining all this stuff because it will require some careful alignment. Again, we have this thin uh, tubes in the middle as you can see one is broken off due to such packaging I'm not sure why it was decided to do like this But here you can see this top section of the roof which looks quite nice. I think it uh, replicates um, In a more or less realistic way the fabric surface here inside you can see that we have some push rod marks and I think it is not necessary to fill them in because now uh, they won't be visible on the top section, but I'm not sure about the rear section. As you can see, again, we have some marks here as well. So who knows? But attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate all this stuff and prepare it for the further assembly, let's say. Next, we have another gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various minor elements. We have here the plastic wheels. Also, we have separate doors, some suspension parts, the fuel can holders, etc, etc. Everything looks really good. Just give me a second to focus the camera because as far as you can see it is not sharp. Now it should be sharp. We also have rifles which will be placed inside the car. And here you can see these wheels from the other side. As far as I remember, all this stuff was easy to combine and install inside the vehicle. But you have to be careful with alignment of all those parts because in some um, areas it wasn't that uh, clear on what you have to do in order to get the right fitment. Here we have the clear plastic frame which was packed into the separate plastic bag in order to avoid any possible scratches. As you can see molding quality looks really good but uh, there are no masks included so keep it in mind maybe you will find some aftermarket set which will help you with this task. Next we have Another gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to um, external elements. As you can see here, we have those parts for the folded roof, but obviously they won't be used here. Again, we have another spare wheel. We have some parts for the exhaust system and also some elements for the engine here. All those thin parts might be easy to lose, so be careful while separating them. They tend to fly away too far away 
and it will be really difficult to find them. Here we have another uh, gray plastic sprue. We saw this type several seconds ago, so we're not going to check it once again. But I'm really glad to see the uh, plastic wheels here, not the vinyl tires, because these parts are easier to paint and weather, and of course they're um, more realistic in appearance on the final um, version of your build, let's say. Here we have various uh, body parts for this car. We also have the engine, so this car has mm, nicely detailed engine out of the box. And I'm not sure why manufacturer does not offer the possibility to open the bonnet and expose the engine. But as you remember, it is done by easily by modifying this uh, these cooling panels because we have here the special thin area which can be cut off, and then you have the half of the stuff done it's just the minor uh, sending and it will be a nice looking um, result here we have also separately molded doors as you remember this might be handy for some diorama ideas so don't forget about this uh, nice feature it might be handy especially if you plan to place figures inside your car Next, we have assembly manual, which is printed in the form of this large brochure. It is printed in color. We have short history note in Russian and English. Next, we continue with parts map. And then we also have the small decals sheet. So here it is. Here we have all necessary symbols for several marking options, as far as you can see. And printing quality looks quite nice. Um, as far as I remember, it was easy to apply all those decals on the previous kit. Note that we have also dials for the instrument panel. So do not forget to install them. Okay, let's move to the first page. So everything starts with the chassis of this car. It should be glued out of several pieces and it is really detailed, surprisingly detailed for such small vehicle. So take your time, apply all those parts in the right place and you will have a nice result um, in 135 scale. Um, as you can see, suspension should be really detailed with all those separate bits and parts. Then we continue with exhaust system. Do not forget about the right alignment of some elements. Here we assembled the engine. Next, we install engine on the chassis. Then we continue with fuel tank, which will be installed from the bottom of the car. Um, and then you close it with a special protecting plate. Then you install the floor. Here you continue with wheels. Obviously, wheels can be left um, aside for painting separately and also installing on the last stages of the build. It will be up to you how you will decide to build your model, but I would recommend to do in a such, I would say, order. Next we continue with the front firewall and also the dashboard on this car. Next we install the side panels. This might be a bit tricky to install due to the alignment here, so track this um, area in order to get the right placement. Next, we continue with closing the rear section, installing the bonnet parts, and as I said, as you can see here, we do not have any options for the opening um, the bonnet parts, but you can modify it if you would like to. Here we have the driver and passenger seats assembled and installed the rear seat as well. Here we have the rifles, as you remember, they're placed into the car. Next, we continue with separately molded doors. These are detailed from both sides and they're quite nice, easy to fit. And of course, you can open them if you need such position. Here we have the steering wheel, also the fuel can holders, which are placed on the rear side of the vehicle, as you can see. And fuel cans are included here, so you get everything you need out of the box. Here we have the shovel and some headlamps and search light. Next we continue with um, another search light installation and also here we have the screen wipers, the rear view mirror and then we start with the roof. So as you remember we have here the roof in the closed position so that's why you have to work with more of the glassings because in the open position you had to uh, work only with the front frame. Here you have the side frames and also the rear uh, side as well. Here you install the all the levers of the roof 
and the top section comes as the last piece which covers all this stuff together and then we have the two Moroccan options here so they come from 1941 and 1942 and then we have two more so this one comes from 1941 and this one is also from 1941 all of these are gray cars not that colorful choice i would say but still it should be interesting to play with weathering on such build of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this uh, kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual bye